Here we are in the Hot Wheel Museum, and we are looking at premium Hot Wheel car culture cars. This is the Deutschland designed German engineered five pack of new Hot Wheels at the time of filming, nearly July 2022. And also, I found some exclusives. I do believe these are exclusive hauler packs at my local Walmart featuring four trucks, all with special paint jobs you're not going to find in anywhere else. We're going to look at one of those loose as well, get them out of the package. And of course, we're going to take all these cars out for a mint loose review here on the Tommy Tech car dealership. I have to say, this is one series I was looking forward to extensively when I found out about it. The Deutschland Design Premium Hot Wheels Car Culture Series. And uh, so happy to have finally have it arrived. First one we're looking at, number one of five, is the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Van. I have... High hopes for this casting to come out with lots of different colors, and I'm sure we're going to see it with uh, many different paint schemes and livery on it in the various series that Hot Wheels has. Uh, doubtful to find it in mainline, I'm going to think. It is a large, heavy casting. Um, this one is, of course, all metal on metal with rubber tires. We're going to look at these up close and out of the package already open up for you. So we're just looking at the packaging right now. We've got all five cars in the series there. And uh, so let's look at the next one, which is the Audi S4 Quattro. I like the simplicity of the design, also the graphics in the background, and the cars match perfectly, even the wheels match perfectly. And I have to say the wheels on these premium car culture cars are exceptional. Now the Porsche 911 GT3 RS in the package with awesome graphics indicating a high rate of speed for this car as it zooms across the background and some more extremely cool wheels on this eight, uh, 2012 uh, what is this a 2012 Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG coupe in the black series let's get some uh, close looks at those wheels and of course the matching wheels on the graphic card now the most uh, racy looking car here would be the 1994 AMG Mercedes C-Class DTM Touring Car. And it has a lot of racing livery on it, matched in the art on the background of the card. And of course, all these cars featuring extreme details, headlights, taillights, and all the rest. And let's go in for a closer look at those cars. As a bonus round, I just wanted to bring this new casting from Matchbox out. Of course, parent company being Mattel for both Hot Wheels and Matchbox. Both high quality. This is a $1 car here in Canada. And just really cool. It's already come out in yellow before. But the 76 Honda Civic CVCC. And some really cool artwork on that. So I'm just going to get that one car as a quick peel. And pop out onto the background display in this otherwise German display of cars and well just a few other little random trucks in the background to kind of decorate the service station a tow truck another matchbox little truck I forget which that one that was called but we're going to go in for a closer look at these and then we're going to clear some space to open up one of these hauler boxes which cost me $50 here in Canada at Walmart unbelievably expensive um wasn't too happy about that but anyways the trucks i'm sure will be gorgeous okay the first vehicle we're looking at of course number one in the series is that sprinter van absolutely phenomenal casting so many accessories on this van life van uh, set up for camping by the looks of it these vans of course are multi-purpose depending on what you're purchasing for uh, cargo utility tradesmen's but they do make exceptional campers, and you can get these in four-wheel drive models. They cost about fifty or sixty thousand uh, dollars Canadian dollars last time I checked, but that was probably two years ago, so maybe even more now. The Hot Wheels rendition has a metal base, deep dish rims, and slick tires on it, which is kind of interesting. I would have expected some treaded tires for this vehicle, given its apparent purpose of uh, off-road adventuring and camping it's got a giant uh, i think this is plastic cargo rack on top which of course i had just placed a couple wheels from the uh, diorama background here on on it just to show that it can carry stuff very heavy vehicle uh, of course hot wheels all roll well so there's really no need to do the roll test so i'm not making space for that 
Number two in the series is the Audi Quattro, but we're going to go right to number five. A little out of order here in view of the camera. This has got to be one of my favorite cars in the set because I really like the paint job on it. And the racing livery is absolutely everywhere on it, as you can see. Sponsors all over the front of this car and on every available surface, just as it would have been in real life. And with the D2 graphics, almost like a ghost graphics in the paint job. Uh, Decra 7. Unfortunately, I did not do my research on where this car actually is known, but for sure it's a real race car and um, has, I'm sure, an extensive race history. Uh, there's a license plate on it as well. The plastic spoiler and probably extending into the plastic roll cage of the interior with the black plastic interior seats. Otherwise, all metal with great looking rims that match this Mercedes really well. And of course, racing slicks. Uh, let's shift the camera over a little bit here and take a look at the other half of the parking lot where we find that Audi Quattro. I really like it in this sharp yellow with the sunroof. Super happy that Hot Wheels chose to go with basically simple paint jobs on all the cars. Uh, despite really appreciating the racing graphics on that 93 Mercedes, this uh, really looks well for my collection because there's so few Hot Wheels that have just a nice simple paint job with all the awesome details that Mattel puts into their cars. And uh, even the marker lights are painted. It just is so clean. The paint job is mint, mint, mint as they always are. No issues at all with any of these Hot Wheels. Oh, I spoke too soon. There's a little chip right behind that rear door. That's unfortunate. Uh, but that's probably about it. And I probably wouldn't have even noticed if I wasn't filming this for you at a super magnification. Sweet looking car. I'll never notice that on its display shelf. Next, we're going to number three of five, which is the Porsche RS. Always a popular casting. Great proportions. Nice understated five spoke rims on it. And we've just lost the focus slightly there, but we'll move on. It's got some details on those taillights that add great depth, just an appearance of depth on them. This one's a little off, unfortunately. It looks like the there's a double print. So either that they print one side of the car and then the other, I'm not really sure. Either way, these are small, small little imperfections in the overall scheme of 164 scale cars at this price range. Keep in mind, if you could find these cars at your local big box store, which they are available at, for a short period of time until they're all sold out almost immediately. These cars are only about six dollars uh, Canadian. I end up paying about fifteen dollars for these uh, because I buy them from various resellers online or at my local diecast store. But uh, you know that's the price you pay if you want a complete collection because otherwise you might only find one or two of the cars and never have a complete collection. Spend all your gas money driving around looking for them. Uh, so I just try to get them from the case or a complete set. Uh, just really loving this Mercedes, though. These rims, I don't know if I've seen these rims before, but they are phenomenally detailed and uh, look just terrific on this car. So that is the uh, premium car culture Deutschland designed. And uh, just a quick look at the Matchbox car now that we have it out of the package. little Honda Civic. Pretty good for a dollar. I mean, it's plastic based, but look at the graphics on the front and back very realistic even the hatch uh hinges are painted silver it does have a big ugly pillar right through the back seat but that's kind of necessary for the uh, durability of these cars rated ages three and up so i guess that's that but i mean otherwise what a sweet looking car and it did come out in white and yellow previously perhaps other colors that i've missed but that's the first one of this year that i've seen and of course also a great roller this was a Matchbox vehicle I'd found earlier in the year. Uh, I believe this is a Japanese truck. Also great details on it. And look, it's a Matchbox with the Hot Wheels flame logo on the back of it. So there you go. It actually even has Hot Wheels wheels on it. Is this a Hot Wheels? This is a Hot Wheels. I thought this was a Matchbox. <laughs> okay, Mighty K it's called. Copyright 2021. I just thought that fit in nice with my Japanese car dealership diorama. Thanks to... Uh, Longtime viewer and friend, Stephen Papa, thank you again for that. Your mystery box video is still coming, sir. Um, let's go ahead, make some room, 
and open up this uh, Hot Wheels Premium Car Culture four truck set. We're going to look at the packaging first. It's got an interesting background diorama of a cabana or something. Just looks like a really good time. We've got a truck with a surfboard in it, some motorcycles. The uh, Texas Drive Em is in there and the little uh, Red Express Dodge, of course, being my favorite. So we've got the 62 Chevy, I believe, and the uh, fictitious truck. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is. The Horizon Hauler. So let's look at all those. And now let's take a look at this four truck set, uh, Hot Wheels Premium. We've got four trucks securely mounted to a cardboard platform in there with the cabana in the background. And uh, some highly desirable models in here. As I had said earlier, the Texas drive -em is always a collectible truck. The 78 Dodge Lil Red Exp Express truck, this time painted in gloss black, also highly collectible. And as for me, the Horizon Hauler, well, it's pretty cool if you collect the uh, Hot Wheel Hauler series. And it does carry multiple different types of vehicles well on its back platform. The Custom 62 Chevy pickup is a very cool Hot Wheel as well. It comes with a surfboard. And these all appear to be securely mounted with elastic bands to the base. Just looking at the package on all sides, it uh, has a tropical theme. And on the back, it shows what the uh, paint job is going to look like for each of these trucks from the side view if you can't tell by looking through the clear panel on the front of it so that's about all there is to the packaging and i've already gone ahead and pre-opened one of those packages so let's take a look at these trucks here on the car dealership let's start with my favorite truck out of this set first and that is the midnight express truck so that is pretty cool they've got uh, even though it's called the Lil red express casting this is the midnight express and uh, check out the wood detail trim around the box and tailgate with midnight express again on that tailgate those uh, stock exhaust pipes that's how this truck came and of course super detailed grill complimentary wheels an all-metal casting and it's truly, I think this truck is probably going to go up a lot in value for Hot Wheel collectors out there. And I think maybe Mattel knows that, why this set was priced at $50 Canadian. I expect that's probably equates to about $35, $40 US. And I found this at Walmart. I'm not sure if it was sold elsewhere. It does not say Walmart exclusive anywhere on it. The second highly collectible casting in here is the Texas Express. Texas Drive, I'm sorry. And it has some interesting graphics on the side, kind of period correct for this 70s Ford truck with the uh, big push bar on the front, detailed headlights. It's got a bit of a funny stance when you look at it, but it's still a really good piece. And I have tried to collect almost every one of these things up to a point um, once they got into the RLC line and a lot of convention trucks. Those trucks were costing anywhere upwards of $100 to $200, $300 in some case on the secondary market, which is often the only way I can get them here living in Ontario, Canada. I was able to get quite a collection of these trucks, and I think uh, a cool idea for a video would be to look at my Texas Drive Em collection at some point in the near future to celebrate this latest release casting. And just compare see what you guys have in your collection but just real nice trucks on real rider wheels and then a good old favorite is that 62 custom 62 chevy pickup truck uh this one features some livery on the side hot wheels surf club and a california truck with the moon eyes it's got the moon eyes decal on the front hood locals only it says and you've got the bow tie cast into the tailgate surfboard that I believe clips in and out. It was uh, had some elastics holding in. Unfortunately, mine has a bit of an issue on the checkered roof, which I'm not really sure how that happened. It seems to be losing a little bit of paint here and there. But yeah, it's a pretty cool truck. Uh, I really do like the casting. It'd be cool to see this thing at uh, more of a stock ride height or even an off-road version. But that's how Hot Wheels has been making this casting for a long time. And we've got the matching Moon Eye equipped Horizon Hauler, which I'm not sure what this truck is exactly based off of. Someone has mentioned in the comments before, but I've forgotten. It uh, is definitely not a real truck, but it does look like something out there. And uh, it is a cool casting. I'm just, 
not collecting a lot of these trucks as the price has gone up so much for these things and they're so hard to come by in my local stores. Plastic back on it, very heavy piece though. There's a lot of die cast metal in this truck and it does roll very well. You can fit all of the trucks onto the back of this truck very easily. And uh, so there you go. Pretty cool looking uh, rig actually with uh, any one of these trucks placed on the back of it. And uh, they all look really good in the dealer, especially this Horizon hauler with the yellow and black. It really does complement the overall dealership theme that I have going on here. So why don't we go in for one final close look at this setup. And again, anyone looking for this dealership, it is made by Tommy Tech. It is extremely hard to come by, especially in North America. So unless you're going on eBay, uh, you're probably not going to find it easily. But here are the cars. It's uh, quite a cool setup, all 164 scale, and I do believe Hot Wheels is doing a really good job at scaling all vehicles quite nicely together nowadays. I mean, I can't say the same for the entire main line, but these premium car culture cars, I believe that Mattel knows what we want uh, as far as collectors go and discerning collectors at that. And uh, yeah, it just fits really nicely together with the various brands that are in the premium sector of diecast collecting and i have to say this has just been a really cool find to share with you guys if you're after any of these of course happy hunting we'll see you soon